As you know, yesterday, the 45th president of the United States seemingly almost got assassinated. As you can see, July 13th, the planet Mars, the god of war, was conjunct Uranus of unpredictability and innovation at 25 and 26 degrees toward. Now, this unironically happened exactly on President Trump's midheaven, which represents legacy, career, and reputation, putting yourself out there to the public, which he does individually with his own wealth. We want to also look at Mars and Leo that's making a square to Mars and the sun in proximity to a Saturn in Cancer. Now, the reason we want to bring up Mars here is because Mars not only makes two-year cycles to go around the Zodiac, but what I'm going to show you is how every year since 2020, where we originally had that four-planet conjunction in Capricorn, from 2020 to 2022 and 2024, the God of War has been preparing the collective for war. I say that because where Mars touches in these points present events that evoke more of a push for conflict to eventually erupt. And that's what brings me to the main point of this video. If you have not been following the language of the stars, you may not realize that this has already happened before. So as you can see, Mars is on Uranus. But let me show you the last time Mars was in Taurus. You guessed it, January 6th, when Mars was getting ready to go into Taurus and conjunct Uranus, this happened. The January 6th insurrection. So we have a pattern of Mars and Uranus meeting in Trump's 10th house of public reception. <sighs> Interesting. Now the real reason why I'm pointing out Mars next to Uranus here and Mars next to Uranus here, which in my Civil War video previously, if you haven't checked it out, check it. I mentioned how two significant wars started when Mars was on Uranus. Yet the real reason I'm sharing this is, do you notice how in both cases, you have ideas around that both were staged? A quarter of Americans believe that the FBI instigated January 6th. And there is some credence to it. But to many other people, it's just going to be a ridiculous theory. And I'm not here to really argue whether or not both were staged or not, but to show you the pattern of Mars being on Uranus, first in 2021, next in 2024, and people believing that there's something up with it. If you get too distracted by people's speculation of events, you're going to miss entirely that Ephesians 612, guys, we fight not against enemy and blood. So while you think that there's some hidden elite hand orchestrating this, there are beings and metaphysical forces beyond our awareness that connects all of us in the sequence of events. So I would never really like to think that it's only as simple as something being st So while I think there might be credence to this actually, I personally think this is as real as it gets, um, as real as Taurus being a real earth sign. And basically anyone who believes it's staged will continue to tell you nothing but postulative, speculative theories. I want you to really hear out for that. You'll see theories switch where they initially said no one died, and then you realize two people died and they said the news is lying. Which is it? I'll let you guys be the judge. Just don't get caught up in people's ideas and look up, because it's been telling you the story this whole time. Peace. And you know that's a little bit